Welcome to Designer Digital's bi-weekly tip, February 5th, 2016. This week, how to create dimension by warping drop shadows in Photoshop and Elements. In this series, we're exploring ways to add depth to your digital designs by tweaking the drop shadows. This tip will cover some techniques for bending shadows so that you can create more realistic dimension on corners, ribbons, banners, stickers, or any other embellishment that might look slightly curled up on a traditional page. Begin by selecting an element you'd like to make look curled or flipped up off the page. Give the element a drop shadow and then move the shadow to its own layer using one of the methods in the previous two tips. Select the shadow layer and then press Ctrl T on a Mac system that's Command T to get the transform controls which look like a bounding box around the layer. Move your cursor to a corner of the bounding box and you'll see there's a little square corner handle there. Hold the control key on a Mac system that's a command key as you drag the shadow out away from the element. When you're satisfied, tick the check mark to confirm the change. This method works well for corners of journalers, banners, frames, and labels. Here's the before and here's after. You can see that it gives it a slightly lifted look in the one corner of the element. You can even drag two corners to make it look like it's curled up off the page. So on this one, I'm going to drag this corner out here and then this corner out here a little bit. So you can use two corners to make it look even more lifted off the page or like the bottom of it is curled. If you want to lift only a portion of an element, like the string on a tag or part of a cutout, you can get the lasso tool and make a selection around the part of the element that you want to lift. So I'm going to select the shadow layer, get the lasso tool, which is the third tool down, and make a selection around this little part of the tag here. I only want this little tag part of the S to be lifted up off the page or curl. So I've made a selection. Now when you're making your selection, you hold down the clicker and you make a complete circle. And when you do that, you get the marching ants that lets you know that your circle is complete and your selection is complete. Now press Control T or on a Mac system Command T on the keyboard to get those transform controls. Hold down the Control key and, or the Command key and drag out the shadow where you want it to make this little flag part of the letter lift off the page. And I'm probably going to go ahead and go into this other corner and lift it up a little bit to make it look more realistic. When you're finished, click the check mark to confirm and then press Control D or Command D on your keyboard if you're using a Mac to deselect and get rid of the marching ants. So here's the before and here's after. And you can see that the little tag gets lifted off the page. If you're working in the full version of Photoshop, you have another option. You can use the warp feature to achieve this effect. Select the shadow layer of the element that you want to tweak. Choose Edit, Transform, Warp from the menu bar. You can drag any of the warp handles that populate around the layer to pull the shadow out. You just have to click and drag. You don't even need to hold the control key on this one. When you're happy with your warp, tick the check mark to confirm the change. On this one, I'd probably go in and reduce the opacity a little bit to make it look a little bit more realistic. This feature gives you the most flexibility because you can use any or all of the 12 handles to transform the shadow layer. Take your pages to the next level by giving your elements added dimension using one of these shadow tweaks. Thanks for watching and be sure to check back in two weeks for the next Designer Digitals tip.